then we can just kind of get right into the amazing fights themselves. Because, I mean, we had the return of the GOAT, John Jones, three yeah. years off, a lot of questions. The last few fights that John had leading up to his hiatus were very close. Yeah. A lot of people thought that he lost to Dominic Reyes here in Houston, and a lot of people were, were pretty upset about that decision. He came back and said, look, let me, get, let me remind you guys just exactly who I am. Cyril Gaon is a guy who went five rounds with Francis Ngannou. That fight was uber close. If it weren't for a few mistakes by Gaon, he probably could have won that fight. John walked in there and made him look like he was a first-day white belt on the mats as far as taking him down and submitting him goes. What do you, what do you make of John's performance? Because we did there was a lot of questions coming into it, and there's really no questions coming out of it. Yeah, no, John Jones is the GOAT. Uh, you're not going to find somebody who just has that chance champion mindset more than John Jones. And, you know, I, I have never met John prior to this week, but I can tell you for sure, once I met him and we were chilling in the, in the PI and sort of just getting to talk to him and, and getting to sort of feel him out. I was like, Oh God, this, this dude is operating on a different frequency. And uh, above all, I feel like John Jones has truly matured as a fighter, as a human. And, you know, I've, I can only go off the clips I used to watch of him, but Man, he was just so likable, so fun to be around. Uh, you know, one of those guys, guys, somebody that seems like they've spent their entire life, you know, with other guys in the locker room having fun. And, you know, he can go back and forth with that sort of stuff. And, you know, I was always a fan of John Jones. But after uh, getting to hang out with him for, for a meaningful period of time, I was like, I I'm, I'm full-blown Team Jones. I think he's the GOAT. I think the way that he carries himself, especially now in this stage of his career, is a very mature, very uh, uh, just buttoned up fighter and buttoned up human being. You know, he was, you know, speaking to all the guys that were cutting weight. And I know John wasn't cutting weight, but he did go in there and he said he wanted to suffer a little bit with the guys that did have to truly suffer with the weight cut. And he kind of brought this positive energy into the PI when he came in and started sweating with us. And you know, given, given these kids that are, you know, maybe lower on the cards, or this is one of their first fights in the UFC, some words of encouragement and just sort of letting them feel some love from, from somebody that everybody in the uh, MMA world looks up to. It was, it was really cool. And I felt like John Jones is not just doing this for, for uh, his own, just like, you know, recognition. He's not doing this for, for all of that. He's doing this because he truly wants to be the greatest in the world. And he truly loves this sport. He's passionate about it and not only passionate about it for his own career, but passionate for all the other people. Like he knows the type of influence that he's had on these young fighters and these people watching the sport. And I think he realizes that now and is, and is trying to uphold his duty of being like, a mentor and somebody that people can really look up to as a hero and, and uh, to a, a guideline for how to conduct yourself, man. John Jones has had a lot of uh, hiccups in his life, but truly I think this is a new phase for John. I think these three years was uh, exactly what he needed to do to try to grow his body into a strong heavyweight. He did that. He proved that he's able to uh, compete at the highest level of heavyweight and not only do it, but I mean, do it flawlessly against somebody who we thought was going to give him a little bit of trouble, but, Turns out Cyril Gaon had absolutely nothing for him. And I believe even if they did stand up and strike a little bit more, that John would have pieced him up. I think John looked so good all week. I think he was strong. He was mentally right where he needed to be. And uh, all in all, just nothing but high praise for John.